for all that's worthwhile, your radio dial is on Radio Luxembourg. You see, I was playing records that were coming to me fresh from London, which in turn were probably coming in fresh from America. And if I got one which I thought, oh, this is real good, now I'm going to push my neck out here, I would play it as many times as one could without sort of indulging in plugging, as it was called. And, uh, of course, eventually they would become popular, you see. So when it was suggested that we play a program consisting of best-selling records, I said, well, this is ridiculous because we are playing all these records on other programs during the rest of the week. But uh, the governors of the station said, no, we're going to have a program called Top 20, which will be based on the best-selling sheet music at that time. And, of course, it became the most popular program. Inside three or four weeks, it became a fantastic success. Sometimes I'd be on at um, half past ten, and I would start off and say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Teddy Johnson, doing a program now which we call uh, Topical Half Hour, and we would do a program of uh, topical records, new records. Then I would sign off, say, at a minute to uh, eleven, say, thank you very much indeed, this is Teddy Johnson. Hey, good night, everybody. Don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow night at the same time. And I would bang the gong. And I would say, this is Radio Luxembourg, and this is Edward V. Johnson here, presenting a program called Top 20, or uh, Music for Everyone. And then, if that program only lasted half an hour, I would sign off again. This is Edward V. Johnson saying cheerio at half past 11, whatever the time was. And then I would bang the gong and say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is E. Victor Johnson here, presenting a program called Irish Half Hour. A very good friend of mine was a young man named Derek Bolton. And... Um, Derek said they, they want an announcer in Luxembourg and I was quite bewildered I, I, I never asked him what makes you think that I would be an announcer on uh, in the English section of Radio Luxembourg anyhow I was intrigued by the whole idea and I didn't want to stay uh, Teddy Johnson drums, timps and vocal for the rest of my life I wanted to become a soloist in some way or other so I went down to the office of Radio Luxembourg and got on very well with Mr. Lee. He seemed to like me, and uh, uh, he didn't say, "Well, you know, can you uh, can you speak between records, perhaps?" You know, <laughs> never even considered. So um, he didn't even know if I could do that. And um, that was probably about three o'clock in the afternoon. Went back home, and I think the phone went at five o'clock. And it was frankly, and he said, "Can you go to Luxembourg on Saturday?" And he said, uh, "Go over there." and stay there for three or four days and uh, just see whether you like doing the job and whether they like you over there, which was probably more important. So that's how I started in Luxembourg on the 20th of May, 1948, and stayed there for two years. And uh, so that was, the first, uh, to my knowledge, the first ever programme based on something best-selling using gramophone records. I think I can probably say that I was the first regular DJ in uh, British radio. There's a bird on a branch. There's a branch on a tree. There's a tree in the meadow and that's where I long to be. Neath the bird on the branch. Neath the branch on a tree. Neath the tree in the meadow where you said you love me. Sing little birdie, sing your song. Sing you help our love along. Sing little birdie up above. Sing the song of love. <laughs> Teddy Johnson. Yes, the music goes round and around, but only on this program if the record was made originally to revolve at 78 RPM. Good evening. I've been searching in my attic to find if there are any old 78s still in one piece and worth playing. No luck so far, I'm afraid, so uh, thank goodness I can draw on the immense resources of the BBC's library. They were able to find me one of the first 78s that I ever heard. By, how could I ever forget the name of the band, Miff Moles Molas? <laughs> Cup a cup a cup 
cup of coffee, sometimes the best assistant a songwriter ever had to help him complete those missing lines. Johnny Mercer with the assistance of the Paul Smith Trio and the Notables Java Jive. And there's another Johnny Mercer lyric to be heard later on in This Sounds Easy, a lyric years away from the 1930s Lazy Bones that we heard just a little earlier. Well, there's no lyric at all to be heard on this next record, but uh, you've probably heard the song enough to supply the correct words yourselves. Thank you. 